Very dramatic pictures of the massive 747 crash at the U.S. Air Base in Afghanistan. The video from a vehicle dash cam was posted on the web. We won't be showing you the moment of impact, but it does provide important clues about what might have happened. ABC's chief global affairs correspondent Martha Raditz is here with all the details. Good morning, Martha. Good morning, George. This is the kind of jet that is used commercially worldwide. And even though it was in a war zone, they do not believe enemy fire had anything to do with the crash. The video was shot from a dashboard camera on the perimeter of Bagram Air Base. You see the huge 747 just having taken off nose high, but seconds later, a sharp bank right, then plunging to the ground. There was no chance for anyone to survive. In the cockpit, the pilots are for trying to force the nose to move down so that the airplane can get some more airspeed and the wings will continue to generate lift. It's a sickening feeling to watch this. The airline company says the plane was packed with vehicles and other general cargo being flown out of Afghanistan during this drawdown. Colonel Ganyard says the vehicles, likely armored and weighing tons, may have broken loose from in-flight restraints. If the cargo had broken loose from its restraints, it would force it to the back of the airplane because the nose is Just like up. it is there. If we exactly. Can stop. So the nose is up so far because perhaps cargo has shifted to the back and pushed the tail of the aircraft down and the nose up. At this point, the pilots don't even have the control authority to push the nose down and to get the airplane flying again. Colonel Ganyard says it would have been nearly impossible for a pilot to recover in that short amount of time during takeoff. At this point, as you see the forward motion begin to slow down and the aircraft roll off onto one wing, the stall is inevitable, this mishap is inevitable. And this morning, we are learning more about the victims in the crash. Five of the seven dead are from Michigan including 33-year-old Jamie Brokaw and Brad Hassler, whose brother oh, talked about the loss. I love my brother more than anything, and if I, could, if I could trade places with him so that he could be with his family, I would in a heartbeat. The pilots were all very experienced, but as you heard Colonel Ganyard say, this was the kind of incident that you just couldn't recover from. The National Transportation Safety Board now has investigators on the way.